I'm Dr Caroline Gordon and I'm a senior lecturer on the BA Honours Criminology and Criminal Justice Programme um, and I'm also programme leader for the MA Criminology and Criminal Justice Programme. As criminologists we're concerned with creating new knowledge um, and progressing understanding about any matters related to crime. Um, so as students our undergraduates be, would be looking at essentially three, three key things and that is how we define crime, how we explain crime um, and thirdly how we respond to crime. So the definition of crime changes uh, throughout the course of history and over time. So we look at why does that happen, why do particular behaviours become labelled as crime and importantly who is, is labelling those particular acts as crime. So we look at explaining crime um, so we look at a whole array of different theories, so namely biological explanations, sociological explanations and psychological explanations of crime. So students will also get to uh, explore and understand how we respond to crime. So they get to look at all the different types of sentences and punishments, why we sentence and, and punish people in the way that we do, how effective they are in terms of reoffending, and why we have the types of attitudes we do uh, in terms of the way we, we seem to want to punish offenders. For example, I was teaching year one this morning about perception of crime and fear of crime. Um, and one of the biggest misconceptions that people have, and certainly before they start the criminology degree, is that crime is constantly on the rise, it's always increasing, and that the UK is really soft on crime. Um, actually, th those two things are completely incorrect. Crime has been steadily decreasing since the mid-90s, um, and we have a very high prison population. So there's this, this huge misconception, and why is that? Um, and that's because it's media driven and this really, really feeds into the way people think about crime and the way that we should respond to it. So most people don't have experiences of crime, so they rely on the media to tell them what crime is out there, what the nature of it is, the extent of it. And importantly, the media drive people how to think and respond to how we should deal with crime. There are currently five full-time members of staff um, we all have um, involvement in the delivery of the programme. We're all a research active team. We um, try to publish and research as much as we can. We're currently involved in a Welsh funded government um, research project which is looking at um, the homelessness services for people leaving the secure estate. We each have our own research interests and um, that feeds into the delivery of the teaching. But also what's, what's good about us is that we, we each have backgrounds in practice. So for example, my um, background is working on a treatment programme with sex offenders. So again, that feeds in to the delivery of the programme. The great thing about studying um, criminology and criminal justice is that it opens you up to a whole variety of um, different options for lots of different types of careers. So if we look at past graduates, for example, um, lots of our students tend to go into probation, um, they go into the prison service. We have some students who might go on to um, work with the police. I can think of a few students who have secured positions in bail hostels. Um, there are all sorts of jobs that you can go into, drugs and alcohol, victim support, um, housing services. So it really does offer an excellent springboard into those types of career paths. And again, if we look at our employability figures, it's easy to see that the majority of our students do go on to do something that's relevant. So that's absolutely excellent.